Uh, praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles from the great millstone who taught us this truth and who's continuing to teach us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So today's lesson, you can see, uh, we pulled this from uh, blackbusiness.com. And uh, you can see this is uh, was posted uh, November the 14th, 2022. And this is the uh, year to turn up of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And it reads, Black Family Closes Seven Figure Real Estate Deal to Recreate Modern Day Black Wall Street in Mississippi. Okay, so you can see right here on the screen, you have this so called Black Family that bought this strip mall here. Uh, I guess it's. It's a million dollars, I believe. Let's read a little bit of it. This is after nearly a year of uh, negotiations and re renegotiations. Entrepreneur Tony A. Rummer Corns, if I'm pronouncing that, Jr., his wife and the three sons have purchased a 20 unit strip mall in the Oak Grove community of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, that they will transform into a local version of Tulsa, uh, Tulsa uh, Oklahoma, historic Greenwood District, also known as the or original Black Wall Street. And uh, you know the, the history on this uh, uh, Black Wall Street uh, is uh, let's see, because I know I'm not pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, uh, let's see if we can uh, get him to pronounce it. Riemenang. 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 Okay. All right. Riemenang. Okay, but yeah, let's see, back to this, uh, I think I might have lost it, let's see, let's go back to the search bar, uh, Uh, I guess I can't find it. Let's see. Let's see if I type it up again. Uh, hmm. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. That's weird. Let's see if we can go to the... Wow, that's crazy. But let's see if we can let's let's type it up again. Uh Okay. Renamanek. I <laughs> know still ain't pronouncing it right. Uh Purchase. Uh, so I can give me one second for that. My bad. Uh, mall. And I don't have to either. Uh, here we go. So I like it. But I don't know why it wouldn't come up. It took forever to bring this back up. But let's get this ad out. But yeah, here we go again. Okay. So now we, you know the history on uh, uh, 
you know the history on Black Wall Street, right? Black Wall Street was was you know a city in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that where you know uh, it wasn't that many years ago. I, I don't know the exact amount of years it was ago, but um, you know the uh, it was a uh, Tulsa, let's see, uh, where she business in Memphis, Mark, Tulsa, 1906. Gurley opened a store of 40 acres of land. He purchased and named the street on which he sat after a city in Mississippi called Greenwood. After adding a hotel, uh, Mason Lodge, he sold the land to other African Americans who began creating various businesses and services. And so this is what they're trying to create. And what I was about to, you know, get into, and you know the history on Tulsa, right? Uh, you know, uh, these Edomites, you know, they was jealous, man. You know, of the uh, the success of, uh, you know, the so-called Negroes, which, you know, this has been, you know, going on throughout, you know, uh, this years. You know, this is not the first... Um, this is not the first situation where the so-called Negroes, you know, were, were trying to uh, come up in this society, man. And I got a, uh, I believe I have a scripture uh, that I have, uh, uh, Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It, it it shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction, okay? And this is uh, what the Lord is talking about, man. The, the arise and depart from this this place that you call America, man, you know? Meaning, you know, don't set your heart on trying to, you know, build up riches, man, okay? It said it would even destroy you. And you know you seen what happened back in Tulsa, man. You know, uh, I forgot the actual uh, story what happened, but I believe from my, you know, what I can remember, I believe it was, you know, a, a situation with so-called black man and a white woman. Uh, I guess they was in the elevator and a white woman said he tr tried to do something to it. I, I, I can't remember right off, but you know how it normally goes, you know. So-called white woman, yeah, rape, and, and here we go. You know, here's the the, the thing for the Esau Edom to bring, you know, his, uh, you know, his 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 form of judgment, which, you know, the judgment is all through Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. This is Yahweh's judgment, man, uh, which, you know, he sets up uh, these Edomites to be a whipping stick, uh to these Israelites that are out of line, and you Israelites are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? Let's grab that uh, scripture. Uh, you know what, well, let's go to, let's get this uh, the blue letter. Uh, let's go to the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 10, and uh, verse 5, I believe, yeah. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. And this is how Bashimi Abishan is saying that these uh, Assyrians, which is the modern day uh, Edomites, you know, is the, the, you know, the anger, the rod, let's read it again. It says, The rod of my anger is the staff in their hands. Okay? And there's my indignation, man. Righteous anger. Towards who? The Israelites, man. Okay? So we, we, we were brought here to serve our captivity. Okay? Not to, uh, you know, to abuse, you know, uh, you know this, this system. You know, we, we're here to, you know, serve our captivity, get what we can, and not try to, uh, you know, elevate. 
and take it to the next level, you know, because this is going to bring on, you know, that uh, what the scripture talked about, man. You know what the what the, what the Lord say? This is it would it would even would uh, it says even with a sword destruction. It will pollute. It says because it is polluted and, and it shall destroy you. This place will destroy you, man. When trying to, you know, go outside the the box, man. Go outside of what you how about Shimi Alsha set this place up for? It. This place is only set up for us to. You know, serve our captivity. Okay. Uh, you know, it ain't. I mean, some people, you know, really can't see that. But, you know, it, it, you know you've know, you been sold this dream, you know, of, of uh, how does it go? The dream of uh, the American dream. That's what it is, you know. And, you know, you in order to know this is a, a dream, you have to be asleep. Okay, and that's what a lot of a lot of our people are. A lot of our people are still asleep here in this uh, place, man. Okay, a lot of us are, are asleep, man. Hey, you know I have plenty of family members that they're definitely in the same situation. They are asleep and thinking that this is uh the place that we're supposed to be in to try to elevate ourselves, man. Okay, and um. Uh, you know, uh, how does the scripture go? Uh, uh, seeking ten times more. Uh, let's see. Uh, is that a uh, uh, let's see? I thought it was a uh, Ecclesiasticus. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at this. I believe it's in the uh, uh, let's see uh, ten times more, and this is the uh, spirit we're supposed to be in. Okay, so yeah, this is uh. The book of Baruch, chapter four, and verse twenty-eight says, "For as it was in your, was your mind to go astray from the Most High." It says, "So being returned, seek Him ten times more." And this place will have you, you know, going astray, you know. And you know, uh, the Lord, and they said they had renegotiated a couple of times. I believe, uh, I believe they say they renegotiated. Uh, it says after a year of negotiation and re and renegotiations. Okay, so it's had to be more than once, you know, maybe three three times, you know. <laughs> and the Lord was trying to let them know, hey man, you know this ain't, you know, your rest. Okay. But you know I understand, you know, when you lost. Hey, you, you 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 know you feel so like you you feel uh like you can win. This hey, this ain't where we we supposed to be winning that man. We supposed to be in the mindset of a uh, a morning man because this place is hey it's, it's it's on its way out of here man. You know and you know I I have family members that you know bought some some land and. Trying to open up different stores, which I, you know, I understand you don't want to work for Esau, Edom, or whatever. But you know, this is <laughs> this is a million dollar deal right here. Okay. So, and you bringing that sword destruction upon yourself, man, to, you know, think that, you know, you can, you know, get some money out of this place, man, which. You know, the dollar bill is, uh, you know, uh, on its way out of here. You know, you're on a, you know, if you want to, you know, be a part of this, this world, you're going to have to, uh, you know, take that karagma. You know, that, uh, that implant in your hand or your forehead, you know, that's going to be the new blockchain, the new money. Blockchain is going to be your new paper, paper bill, 
money, but it's going to be on, you know, in digital form. Okay, so they're going to do away with the, you know, the paper dollar. Okay, so are you going to re receive that? You know, and the Lord tells you about that, and uh, about receiving His mark of His image. You know, you know, this is Esau Edom's uh, kingdom, man. We we supposed to separate ourselves and come out of her. Okay, come out of who? Babylon the Great, A.K.A. America, man. You see, but you know. All right, that's why I said the water how about see me out of the wake me up to this truth, you know, because uh, we all have been in that, that mindset of, uh, you know, uh, trying to make it, uh, you know, make it a little better, <laughs> you know. But, you know, that was just something I wanted to bring out, you know. You know, this is uh, the time of the end, man, okay? So... You know, with that being said, you know, we're going to go ahead and end it. And give all praises on to you. How about Shem Yavashah, Baha Shem, Rekal Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone who taught us this truth. And yeah, like I said, man, you know, and, you know, this, that Karagma is going to be, you know, that, that, that last, that's going to be that test, man, that, you know, that hour of temptation that the scripture talked about. You know, that all, everyone's going to be, uh, you know, made to take this test. So, you know, if you receive that karagma, then, hey, the, the, Lord, the Lord's wrath will be upon you, man. You know, without mixture. All right? So, with that being said, shout out to the whole full of 